All right, welcome to Math 1050 for our summer semester here. Just a few things to help you get started. First off, my name is Ashley McSwain. I've been teaching adjunct for the math department at the college for, this is, my, this is my 21st year doing it there. And I teach full-time and coach full-time at Murray High School, uh, where I also teach the concurrent enrollment in these same classes. Uh, that we're taking this summer. Now, this class is set to be, check my calendar here, a Tuesday, Thursday night class. Okay. And it will be done through Zoom as far as the sessions. Now, the way that this class is going to work, okay, I gave you a calendar that you can pull up on the Canvas site as well as a homework list. The calendar looks something like this when you pull it up. All right, so it's got, well, we're doing each Tuesday and Thursday, as well as what needs to be done before the next class. So this worked as kind of a modified flipped classroom. Uh, this is something that's worked really well the last few semesters uh, with the virtual classroom. I think it works a lot easier. Um, that being said, if I look on Tuesday's day here, we got class begins, we're there. Orientation, we're talking about that. And then it says before next class, watch videos for sections 1.1 and 1.2. And then when we enter next class, which is Thursday, we will be talking about section 1.1 and 1.2. And then it states before next class, watch videos for sections 1, 3, and 1, 4. So to kind of give you an idea, what I've done is I put out lecture videos for the different sections. The nice thing about that is you're not looking at a virtual classroom, looking at the board. Sometimes you can read the stuff really well, sometimes not, uh, and trying to frantically take notes and things like that. Okay. Uh, I put the videos out there, so this way you can pause them if need be to get stuff down, rewind, replay. They're available through the entire semester and loaded onto your Canvas site. The other thing I'll say about the videos is that they're my videos. It's me doing the lecture just as I would do in class, but you can kind of work with it at your own pace. Uh, and that makes things a little bit nicer, especially for note taking, like I said. Okay. So it's not a PowerPoint presentation that's just made up. It's not another teacher talking to you. You're going to get the same type, language, terminology, everything else in that video as you're going to see during the class nights because it's still just me. What this makes us or allows us to be able to do is when we come back on Thursday night, that, that next class, you will have already watched those first two sections of videos, right? taking all your notes down. I gave plenty of example problems in each one and started the homework. Maybe you're struggling a little bit, so you didn't start the homework, right? whichever the case may be. But what happens is when we meet to start our class on Thursday, I'm going to talk about a few highlights of, hey, we've got to know this. Here's something important. Here's a different twist versus what you saw in the video, some things like that. Rather than going through, here's 10 examples of that problem. We're going to talk about specifics and kind of get things nailed down. So you'll want to look at those things ahead of time. Now, that being said, the way that I designed it is I don't want you to sit here and listen to me for three hours and then turn around and you've got another hour and a half of videos to go watch. No, the goal for me is when we start class, we're going to go through some specifics and stuff, some uh, other types of twists and turns based on the problems you saw in the videos, things like that kind of solidify that information. And then at that point, we're done. Um, after that will be time for individual questions that you have. I'll be right here so I can answer your questions one-on-one, -on -one, get you help where you need it. If you've got two or three questions you need clarification on, we'll take care of you. If you don't have any, then you're going to sign off and go to watch the next set of videos. Uh, the purpose would be is so that our class time plus the videos you watch would equal about our same class time. So I'm only going to have you solidifying that information with me for about 40, eh, it's usually 45 minutes or so. 
45, 50 minutes, we'll get everything solidified. And then from that point, it would be go stay, get your questions answered, or go on to the next piece and start preparing for that next class. That's the general idea. The other good thing is each one of those Zooms are recorded. So if for some reason you can't make it to class, uh, you can't get logged on in time, stuck at work, uh, who knows, whatever the reason is, you can look back at the recording. As far as how assignments and stuff work for the course, there is a participation point category, which is each night of Zoom. So after you finish watching this, you can go in and do the participation points for tonight. That means that, hey, I saw that video, I saw the intro, we're good to go, I know what I'm doing. All right, now as far as participation points work, it just has a text box. You can just type anything in there. Type a question if you've got it, if you want, but you can just simply say, I was here, something like that. That's just gonna let me know that you were there. I can always go back and match it up to the Zoom recording. But the reason I'm doing it like this is because what if you miss a class? I still want you to be able to get those points. So you'll just submit your points after you watch the recording so that you can gain those uh, points into your record. Okay. The other thing will be homework. Now, one of the papers on the Canvas site gives you the homework list for the entire course, all the way through. Okay. Homework is out of the book. Uh, homework is not through uh, a Canvas portal or anything like that. The nice thing is the book is an OER book, so you don't have to purchase the book. All the problems are in there, including answer keys and such. So you can start working on those. Uh, homework will be due on the day of the test. So when you start looking at the assignments and everything goes in order on that Canvas page, you start to see the lecture videos, participation points, and you'll see the homework assignments. Going right in order, you'll see the due date is the test day. So for the entire first set of homeworks for chapter one and chapter two, you'll see a due date of June 10th, because that's gonna be our first exam. So you'll see June 10th due date. You can submit them through Canvas at any point before then. You don't need to wait till June 10th. You can do them one at a time as you get them done. And you can scan to a PDF. I also accept pictures. You can use your phone or computer, take a picture and send it in that way. I'm good however you wanna do it. Um, tests will be through Canvas. I will right, we'll talk about those when they get closer. You do have three unit tests according to your calendar, and it's also on the homework list, and then that final exam. All right. I will have some reviews and things like that for tests, but right now we're just focused on getting started. So the syllabus is there for you to view. The basic percentage breakdown that's in the syllabus is 55% tests. So there are three unit tests, total at 55%. Then there's final exam at 25%. Then homework, quizzes. There's one quiz for each chapter that is through Canvas you'll see on there. I'll remind you of those things. They're just short quizzes. Everything else is homework and participation. That will be submitted, that's 15%. And then we have an e-portfolio assignment for this class that's not till a good bit later on. So we can talk about that when it comes, that's 5% uh, of your total grade. So the idea for now would be go through the Canvas thing. You have any questions, you can see my information on there for email, feel free to email me. Uh, there's my cell phone number, especially since we're on the virtual thing. Uh, you feel free to text or call. I would suggest texting first. If you want to talk, I'll be happy to talk with you, but I would suggest texting first because a lot of times I don't answer numbers I don't recognize. So, but that's up to you. All right, you can contact me anytime with questions you have any of the days. Uh, the only time that I'm really not going to be available at all is Monday and Wednesday night around this same class time because I teach another class 
that's a Monday, Wednesday night class, and yours is a Tuesday, Thursday. Okay. So our focus now going forward, as it says on your calendar, before next class, watch videos for 1-1 one, one, and 1-2. One, so your goal is to now, before Thursday night's class, watch the lecture videos for 1-1, one, 1-2. One, one, Take the notes you need. Again, this has worked really well the last few semesters because it allows you to do the notes, view the problems, think about what's being talked about at your pace. Instead of this that frantic thing during this, I have me up here on the board and you trying to write everything down. And it's really tough to ask questions when we're in this virtual classroom. Right? That allows us then for that next class, we meet next time, we're gonna talk about some different things from those two videos and then have plenty of time to answer any of the questions that you have regarding that material before moving forward to the next sections, to the next sections that we're gonna cover. And that's kind of the general idea. We'll talk about tests as they get closer, how they're done, how they're going to be. Uh, I will tell you the tests are through Canvas though. So you'll take them through the Canvas website. Uh, the final exam will also be the same. As far as I know at this point, the college has not uh, said they're making any changes with regard to the final exam this semester, so I do not expect any. It would also be through Canvas uh, as far as the different pieces are concerned for that. Uh, I do know for those of you registering for fall, we're back to in-class environment for the fall uh, without the virtual piece. Uh, so again, look at the Canvas thing first, start watching those first two videos, take your notes, get prepared for the next class, start the homework if you know what you're doing, it just saves you time. Uh, if you get to some of the homework that you're unsure about, don't panic, we'll answer any questions you've got that next one. I just want you getting those lecture notes ahead of time to help you out getting started. And then when I'm talking about those things, you understand more of what I'm talking about and maybe what I'm saying is solidifying it for you a lot better, those pieces. All right. So after watching this video, going through the Canvas, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free, email, text, call. Uh, you can certainly wait till Thursday, but uh, that's up to you. But definitely, even this evening, feel free. Text me if you've got an immediate question, you need some clarification on something, I will be more than happy to text back or talk to you if you wanna talk on the phone, right? Otherwise, I'll be happy to answer the email, but email, I'll tell you, probably won't be answered until tomorrow morning, okay? I probably won't see that one before then, okay? Otherwise, we'll take care of things on that Thursday. Look through the calendar. You'll see, unless I've made a mistake, date-wise, all the dates should be laid out there when all the tests are, the three tests, the final, and how things are moving through. Uh, you know, if I've made a mistake, we'll get that corrected and get that fixed and back out. But that's your primary focus. Look through the canvas, start the videos. If you have a question you need an answer to, get it to me, we'll get that taken care of. 